I don't know how I got there, but one day I awoke to find myself in a cage. Instead of bars like a prison cell, as might be expected, the walls that encircled me gave the place of my confinement the appearance of a giant hamster cage. There was no one around me, much to my despair, or should I say, relief, for who would savour the notion of such a despicable sight and deplorable absence of dignity being witnessed by another? What happened last night? Indeed, what had I done to deserve such a penance? From the best of my recollection, it was a normal night. I had gone to bed at the usual time, a solitary man ending his day of work. There was no grounds to presume I had enemies. I had shed the desires that would have fueled the hatred of those with mercurial proclivities. Jealous lovers were curios from the past, something that I knew had existed in other centuries but could not comprehend. I'd had relationships, of course, but these faded out with what amounted to little more than a shrug. There were no love rivals, no infidelities or betrayals. Yet regardless of this somewhat monastic existence, here was I, incarcerated in some kind of farcical purgatory. How much is this cake? That one is our most expensive cake. Five million pounds. That's quite a lot. How come it's that much? It's an ice cream cake with ingredients from a Zlardel cave on Jupiter. I wish I could get that one. I've always wanted to try Jupitean food. We get samples in sometimes. If you give us your contact details, you can come and try. I'll make sure you're called. She seems great. Maybe I should ask her out. What language is that? Dunno. And now it's sort of English? <laughs> ah, it's spewing money. Quick, get your bag. There are some really weird things coming out. Bag them. Is anyone looking? Nah, get it all. Get to the bathroom. Wake up. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. One hour later. All right, let's get this day rolling. One hour later. Attention, incoming Garrix military. <gasps> Attention. So loud. May as well have a look. Might be a new protocol. It's about time. We extinguish this pathetic species today. Yeah. 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 They upgraded the subsonics. That's kind of interesting. Threat neutralized. Bytractor needs filtering there. Meh. What time is it? What a beautiful day for a trip. Where shall I go today? Panama? Argentina? And the Bulgarian president led talks today. Ah, yes. I remember Bulgaria being especially nice this time of you. Might take to fight a jet today. You have not been permitted to enter this airspace. Identify yourself. Worry, it's Fred. How's Molly? Freddy, altitude. right there. She's well enjoying her new boyfriend. So she finally settled Boy. down. There'll be some good looking pups. And a uh, crap ton of them. The Critical mix. Altitude. Anyway, let's get a drink when you're back this way. I anticipated greatly. Tally ho. Certainly so a great day for a flight. Flight, 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 flight. Great, here he comes. This fucking guy. I told you to keep a 10 mile distance between us. Your super hearing, or whatever you call it, not working. You know it's so nice, Steve. I had to tell you something, I didn't want to shout it. I know I'm not supposed to kill any henchmen. The president already said. No, I just had to tell you that the... Haha, <laughs> 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 enjoy it, mofo. Oh, 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 10 minutes later. He got me again. I let my guard down. This is the last time. I'm really going to kill him now. We have a student joining us from another class today, transferring for the rest of the term. Everybody please welcome Susan. Salutations, classmates. <laughs> we don't know for her. Yes, thank you, Cherise. There's nothing wrong with the way Susan talks. It was a very eloquent greeting. Sorry, Sorry, Susan. Susan. Sorry, Susan. There he is. 
By my calculations, the chocolate bar he consumed one hour ago will be digested and ready to be excreted by 11.30, at which point phase five can commence. These fucking pussies. Those are probably running low. They'll never learn how to survive if they keep taking handouts from the army. Becca is looking great today. They never agree on anything. When I go out there and tell them that. Here comes a biter. You think they'll make it? Probably, but probably not. Hey Jet, what do you think? Are you gonna make it? Think of something profound. Something that's gonna make her fall in love with you. Do any of us truly make it in this awful shell of a world? Well, bruh, that's deep. Shit. <laughs>